Hey y'all, hey Clarity. One more minute until we start stretch and refresh. My name's Kelly, if you haven't joined me before, I'm just gonna give a minute for people to hop on. Uh, this is a 20 minute class, uh, grab a mat or, so yoga mat, workout mat, car soft carpet, towel, uh, water blocks if you have them. Um, yay, hi. Just waiting for you guys to kind of sign in. We've got one minute. We're gonna stretch for about seven or eight minutes. We're gonna breathe together, do some pranayama, um, and then we're gonna do a quick little meditation just to kind of reset for our day. So give you another moment. And I will be with you. So grab your water, grab all the things that you need. Burn some sage, light a candle. <laughs> um, I've shared playlists with you guys. Um, I will, so on Spotify, you can look up Kelly Truitt. Uh, so you can look me up on Spotify, I've shared some lists. Um, We've got a couple more people. Hi. Thanks for tuning in. Stretch and refresh. Just another f second. All right, so find a comfortable seat, which is where we're going to start today. All right. Some of you guys may have been joining on the Facebook group. If you're members, um, we do this. Uh, Monday and Tuesday as well at 11 a.m. Um, for the members um, and then on Fridays we will be here on Instagram for everybody so find a comfortable seat somewhere where you can just sit with your chest right over your hips and your head right over your chest just spine nice and tall you can rest your palms down and just take a deep breath in here in through your nose open your mouth and start to let it go. We're going to start to kind of tune in and tap in. Bring one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. And then I want you to just, as you inhale, let your belly expand and let your chest open. So inhale fully. Open your mouth and let it all out. Another big deep breath in. And out. And before we get into any breath work or meditation today, we're going to get into our bodies and out of our minds. Um, so we're going to start that. Um, so go ahead and find your, find your mat, find the floor with something to support your knees um, if you don't have a mat. And we're going to get into it. We're going to start in um, tabletop. So come into tabletop with your, on your hands and knees with your arms and legs straight up and down. You want your index fingers pointed straight ahead here. You want to press down with your hands and grip with your fingerprints. On the inhale, stretch your chest down, look up, curve in your low back. Try to keep your hips in that same spot instead of going forward and back. And then as you exhale, press down, take your gaze towards your belly button. And inhaling up for cow, just warming up our spine. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cow. Maybe even squeeze your shoulders together on your back. Exhale, cow. Last one. You're really just moving with your own breath here. And the next time you find yourself inhaling, come to a neutral spine. Go ahead and reach your right arm up. Just twisting, opening your chest, and then you're gonna flip your palm up, thread it underneath you, and kind of land on your shoulder here for twisted child's pose. Just getting into your shoulder, maybe you kind of rock back and forth, side to side, kind of make your way to stillness. We're gonna take at least three really deep breaths in each pose. Come back to center, reach up, and palm down. Second side, left hand goes up. Flip your palm up, thread it underneath you, land on your shoulder. You can use your right hand for support here to go forward, back, side to side. 
Find that sweet spot where you're really getting into your shoulders, stretching behind your shoulder blade. Last breath. Inhale back up and drop your head. Push yourself back into child's pose. Knees hip distance, feet together, tops of feet on the floor. You're gonna crawl your fingers forward, press your hands down and forward as you sink your hips back. If you wanna make this a more restorative child's pose today, that's okay, it's understandable. There's a lot of crazy shit happening <laughs> in the world. So if you just wanna take some rest, bring your arms alongside, palms facing up, and just rest your forehead, shake your head, yes or no. And just take some breaths, regardless of if you're making this more active by pressing your hands down and forward or passive, make your breaths really big, just like we talked about in the beginning of class, like big belly breath here. All right, expanding into your back ribs. And exhale, folding down deeper. Stretch the crown of your head and your hips in opposite directions, just elongating your spine. Pull your fingertips over to the left for a twisted child's pose. And maybe for a deeper stretch, you reach with your right hand, grab your left wrist. Pull your fingers back to center and then over towards your right for twisted child's second side. Again, maybe for a deeper stretch, you want to reach and grab your right wrist. your fingers back to center and then push yourself up curl your toes under make your way to plank pose or top of a push-up here walk your wrists under your shoulders heels up over your toes shift forward and lower down onto your bellies all right palms facing up arms are alongside you're gonna squeeze your shoulders together on your back and then you're gonna inhale lift everything but your hips up all right so inhale lift Squeeze your shoulders together, chest up, thighs up, even spiral your pinky toes down toward the mat so your knees are facing down toward the mat. Spiraling, creating space in your back there. Stretch your crown of your head forward and your tippy toes in opposite directions. One more big deep breath. Toe on your glutes, take that pressure out of your back. And exhale, release. You can rest your forehead right here on your fingers and just take a break if you need to. You can kind of go side to side. Bend your knees here, going side to side. Kind of windshield wipering your shins. Go ahead and keep your toes curled under. Push yourself back up. Uh, if you can go straight up without peeling yourself off the mat, not good for your back. Or you can go knees first, then back up. And make your way to down dog. So if you need reference for your down dog. Come into plank first. And you want your wrist under your shoulders, heels up over your toes here. Separate your feet hip distance, send your hips up and back, crown of head down for down dog. Breathing big here. Maybe you need to jog it out by just bending your knees, stretching one heel down, the other heel down. And you go side to side with your heels and hips. And then begin to find some stillness. Walk your hands back a few handprints to shorten your stance if you need to. Maybe that's even at the middle of your mat. And then you're going to reach with your right hand and you're going to twist underneath your left armpit, reaching for anywhere between your knee and your ankle here for twisted down dog. And untwist, switch sides, reaching with your left hand, threading, reaching for anywhere between your right knee and ankle. And then maybe you're gazing under your right armpit. Notice where your hips are in space and if you're actually twisting from your core or just moving your hips. 
Big breath. Exhale, unwind. Then walk yourself back into your plank pose. Then you're gonna make your way back into down dog. Step, hop, or float to the top of your mat. Inhale, half lift. Half lift is just flat back, right? That can be fingertips for you, that can be on blocks for you, that can be press your hands on your shins, send your hips back, crown of head forward. We're gonna do a few reps here from half lift into forward fold. If you need more space in between your back, you can just separate your feet hip distance. That's usually like two fist rolls, right? So here, inhale, half lift, exhale, forward fold. Here in forward fold, look how bent my knees are. I'm not just like dangling, touching my toes. I wanna to teach my pelvis to rock forward, so I'm gonna connect my ribs and thighs, and forward fold, head to shin. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward fold. Again, inhale, half lift. And exhale, forward fold. Last one, inhale, half lift. And exhale, forward fold. This time on your inhale, begin to sit down into your chair, chair pose. You know I have to throw in a power pose, always. This one is hands bound. We're gonna warm up our shoulders at the same time. So interlace, I'm just gonna show you all the way to the webbing, wrists together, elbows back. And as you begin to straighten, try not to lock your elbows, right? So sit down into chair pose, inhale big, exhale fold. Head towards knees, chin towards chin. And maybe you grab a strap and you're out here, um, or you know, maybe you're just kind of taking flight. <laughs> Last breath here. Exhale, unwind. Inhale, stand up, arms overhead. Exhale, hands to heart center. Just checking the time here. We're at 11.11, 11. we've got a few more moves and we'll hop into our pranayama. All right, so here, arms up for crescent pose. I had to cheat and look at my notes. You're gonna cross your um, left, you're gonna cr <laughs> cross your thumbs, so left over right, reach up, hips to the left, or hips to the right, torso to the left. Sorry, y'all. I got a little confused and flustered. Back to center, switch the cross of your thumbs. So, right over left, reach up, hips to the left, torso to the right. Just being as sideways as possible here. Press down in, your, in the outer edge of your left foot. And back to center. You can go ahead and make your way back into plank pose by framing your front feet. Step back into plank, hips up and back for down dog. Send your right leg up. We're gonna swing it all the way through here, but bring your knee on the right behind your right wrist here and heel towards your hip. You want your knee to be wider than your hip, all right? Flex your foot, flare your toe, even press down with the top of your foot, all to protect your knee. Even like squeeze your knee pit, if you will, <laughs> all right? So point your toes straight back, maybe here in Pigeon, you just inch your hips closer and leaving your torso up feels like a great stretch. So let's just breathe into that for a moment. If you need deeper, you can go down onto your forearms. You can even fold all the way. This is our last stretch here. And a deep breath. Walk your torso back up. We're gonna slowly transition through down dog for second side, so left leg is high. We're gonna step it all the way through, but just landing your knee behind your left wrist and wider than your left hip. Right? Flex your foot, flare your toes, protect your knee, and then take whatever variation you took on the first side, whether that's torso up, forearms, forward folding all the way,
Last big deep breath here in Pigeon. Walk your torso back up. And slowly make your way to Down Dog. Step hop or float to the top of your mat. And then you can even either find your seat right there on your mat or go ahead and find whatever comfortable seat for meditation that you would like. Hello, everybody. <laughs> so here we're going to do um, some work with Ujjayi breathing, some alternate nostril breathing, and, and just sit for a couple minutes, five minutes. Let's do it. So we've been working on Ujjayi for a while. So if you're not familiar with what that is, you can just place your hand in front of your face and you can just inhale big. And then open your mouth and you feel that breath hit your hand like you're fogging up a mirror. So there's like a constriction in the back of your throat that happens when you die and you want to keep that. So keep that, close your mouth. And then that sound is just a tool to bring you back to your breath, right? So inhale and then if you need to keep your mouth open at first, if this is new for you, fine. Um, if, if not, great. Try to then keep your constriction on your inhale as well, All right? So let's take a couple breaths, tune back in, one hand to heart, one hand to belly, inhale big. Spine is nice and tall, and exhale. Just notice how your body feels before and after getting on your mat and moving around. And just slowly begin to really deepen your breath. Big belly expansion, chest lift high and exhale. Keep your ujjayi and keep that breath. And we're gonna move into Nadi Shodhana, which is alternate nostril breathing. So um, this is a balancing breath, just believe to just balance and clear um, the left and right sides of your brain. Um, so hand mudra can be like hang tight <laughs> with the left and the right, or classical form, which you might see me doing. Sometimes my fingers wanna do this and sometimes they don't. So you can come here, kind of tap for your third eye and you can use your ring finger and your thumb, all right? So go ahead and plug your right nostril. And if you don't wanna to touch your face right now, use your creative awareness. So plug your right nostril and inhale through your left and then you'll switch. Exhale through your right. Inhale right. Exhale left. Inhale left. Exhale right. Adding your ujjayi if you need that sound to deepen your breath to bring you back to it. And continue with this breath. See if you can find a rhythm. We're just here for one minute. begin to even out your sides and the next time that you exhale through your left that will complete the round of breath and you can lower your palms facing down now I just want you to keep your eyes closed and your attention inward 
And we're going to just, for at least, let's say two minutes, we're gonna just meditate. And if you have a meditation or a mantra or something that you're working with, um, awesome, use that. Otherwise, I'll give you some words. Just inhale fully. Back to your jaw. Remembering that there's no right or wrong way. There's your way, there's my way. And that meditating doesn't mean that you have to clear your mind of every thought that pops into your head. It just means that you put those thoughts on the back burner and you turn them down really, really low. And you let your breath deepen until that becomes your main focus, your driving force, your life force, your prana. If you find yourself drifting, if your thoughts are taking you on a spiral on a crazy ride today, Don't take that. If you follow your thoughts instead of letting them pass like clouds, if you attach to them, just notice. And don't make a problem out of it. Take it as opportunity to start again. So you start again. Begin to rub your palms together and create some friction. It's not the most comfortable thing for everybody, so if you don't want to do this, palms down. It's fine. Palms down on your knees. Otherwise, create some friction. If your eyes are still closed, cup your eyes. Just gently feel that heat on the back of your eyelids. Blink a few times. And open your eyes. Thank you guys for showing up um, for yourselves just to spend some time with yourself. <laughs> um, I'll be back here next Friday. Uh, we will learn a new breathing technique and we will work with some mantra. Uh, I gave you guys a lot of freedom today and we stretched for a little bit longer. Um, but thank you so much and I will see you next week. Yeah, you're so welcome. <laughs>